So if you look at People Magazine, it is, uh, you know, I'd say there's probably a 40-60 split between its celebrity content and its, um, what would you call, its real people or human interest content. Um, online, uh, we were seeing far more interest in the straight celebrity material. So, you know, I would say the website going back several years, you might say it probably cleaved to the same 60-40 uh, ratio of um, celebrity to uh, real people content. And if you look at the website now, it's probably 97, 98% uh, celebrity oriented uh, news and lifestyle. What we did was admit to ourselves possibly a different audience, uh, certainly in a different mood, certainly using this content in a different environment then they might be reading the magazine and may actually want a different sort of uh, subject pie chart. You know, we're starting to see the sites change based on the fact that, okay, a magazine is a lean back experience. Uh, typically when you pick up a magazine, you've already kind of said to yourself, you know, little me time, maybe 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes, but I'm focusing on this one thing, it's going to be quiet, I'm going to probably be sitting in something comfortable, and you're in a certain frame of mind and may want a certain kind of thing. The internet, when you're accessing the website, odds are you're probably doing it at work, uh, no matter what the, the website. Uh, you're kind of leaning forward, uh, there's a good chance that you may be doing one, more than one thing at that moment. Uh, most people will have several screens open on their computer and be multitasking or multi-ingesting. And so you are in a different mind frame and, and the content you want, uh, number one, maybe of a different subject matter, uh, may need to be in a different format. And you've got an entirely different set of expectations and a different set of uh, kind of what you're willing to give to it in terms of time and attention is, is, is different.